I just finished making a one-man short film. Want to know how I did it? Stick around. If you've made it this far, I presume that you've seen my short film, Junk Drawer. If not, I hope this goes without saying, but spoilers ahead. So why make a one-man short film? Well, the answer to that is pretty simple. I can't be around my friends right now due to the pandemic, so it seemed only natural that if I can't make movies with them, or really anyone else, I should try to make a movie by myself. When lockdown first started, I was inspired by a lot of the one-person short films I was seeing, in particular, one by my friend Lester Rowe, it was called Stay Home. But I was having a hard time coming up with an idea for a one-man short film that I could do all by myself. So like everyone, you couldn't really go out anywhere or do anything, so it was a lot of staying home and cleaning up around the house. And I got around to cleaning out my junk drawers and discovered that this was the most boring activity that a 30-something could partake in. Mind-numbing boring. But as I sat there organizing the junk drawer, I got to thinking, you know, it would be really fascinating if a person could make this interesting, interesting enough to even make a movie about. So that was the, the kernel of an idea, and it just kind of festered and festered. That's kind of my process. I'll, I'll think of something and be like, that could be cool. And then if I can't stop thinking about it, and it, it just keeps welling up in the back of my mind, then... I know it's something I should have probably at least write down and then I kind of go from there. So I decided to do Junk Drawer and started, I guess, pre-production and was gathering everything and I, I decided to set some goals for the short film. And one of the goals was, um, yes, it is being made because of a pandemic, but I want it to live on past the pandemic. So it needed to be um, a product of its situation, but not about its situation. Another goal was to make it interesting. Cause like I said, actually cleaning out my junk drawer was excruciatingly boring. So that provided me with a lofty challenge of making such a boring activity actually entertaining. I hope I succeeded on that one. Fingers crossed. And the last main objective was to really just actually make it because these are the kinds of things that I would be really hot on doing and then just not ever get around to. So. That was the big one uh, to actually make the thing. So I can check that one off the list, actually make it. And I'm very proud that I did follow through with making Junk Drawer. How'd I do on those other goals? You be the judge, let me know in the comments. The camera I used for the making of the short film was my GH5S from Panasonic. And I only used one lens for the entire thing, the lens that came with the camera, the Panasonic Lumix 12-35. And it's great. It's a great versatile lens. I couldn't recommend it enough. The autofocus needs some work. That's why I used manual focus for the entire movie. And um, the Panasonic image app really came in handy. You'll notice that there are, there are some moments in the movie that the focus might be a little bit soft. And, and that was really due to the actor not hitting their mark. Um, you know, there's just so much you can do with talent. Uh, you know, sometimes they can be a little bit of a diva, especially in this movie. Uh, sometimes the talent, the, the on-camera talent, was just the worst to work with. He said, what about me? Other than that, I really loved working with the camera. I've loved the camera since I bought it a couple years ago. And yeah, that's, that is what I used to shoot the entire thing on a tripod. If you like this behind the scenes video about my short film Junk Drawer, be sure to like and subscribe because I'm going to do a lot more behind the scenes videos for the short film. I'm very excited to share it all with you, so be sure to stay tuned. And if you haven't watched Junk Drawer yet, please do so you can stay up on everything I'm talking about in these behind the scenes videos. That'll do it for this one. I'll see you in the next one.